Hi, my name is Bokhadar Ahmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to start talking about the matrix decompositions, and one of them is going to be the LU decomposition. The idea is to write down the matrix A as the multiplication of the two other matrices, L and the U matrices, where the L is going to be the lower triangular matrix, and the U is going to be the upper triangular matrix. So I'm going to show you an example how we are going to do this in a small matrix, then we're going to do this for the larger matrix. So let's say in the in, in we are given two by two matrix, so it was the entries one, two, two, and five, let's say. The idea is to always bring the matrices to the row echelon form by performing the uh, the elementary operations. And we are going to perform them using the elementary matrices. So for example here, so what you need to do in order to bring this matrix into the row echelon form. So essentially you need to uh, get rid of this two. And one of the ways to do this is to multiply this matrix to the elementary matrix or to the elimination matrix, so E1 let's say, or it's going to be the elimination matrix. And what does this elimination matrix is, uh, it multiplies this to the one zero, minus one, two and one. So essentially you multiply the first row to the minus two and add this to the second one, right? So if you do this, what you get here is one, zero, so sorry, one, two, zero, one, right? So this matrix is already in the row echelon form, so we don't need to continue this. So please note that this matrix is the upper triangle matrix, right? And this elementary matrix here on the left-hand side is the lower triangle matrix. And I've got here this matrix multiplication, so the E1 times to the A is equal to the U. And if you remember, what I wanted to, to get is A is equal to the LU, right? So I need to get this E and put this to here. And one of the ways to do this to just multiply the inverse of the E1 from here and from here. Fortunately for us, the E1 is the elementary matrix and finding its inverse is, is straightforward. So I'm going to write down the matrix A here. This matrix is going to be 1, 2, 2, and 5. While the inverse of the E1 is going to be simply 1, 0, 2, 1. So we just need to put here plus instead of minus. And this should be multiplied as a U matrix with the components 1, 2, 0, 1. So what you see, so this matrix is a lower triangular matrix because all the elements upper above the diagonal are equal to the zero. And this matrix is the upper triangular matrix because all the entries below the diagonal are equal to the zero. So we've been able to write down this matrix A as the multiplication of the L, the lower triangular matrix, to the U, the upper triangular matrix. So we can apply this, this decomposition in order to solve the system of linear equations much more easier. But now let's try to discuss how we can do bring the bigger matrices into this LU form. So let's say uh, I'm going to do an exercise. So we need to bring the bigger matrix. So let's say A matrix. So which is going to be 3 by 3, 6 minus 2, 0. 9, minus 1, and 1, 3, 7, and 5. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, here, I'm going to construct the elementary matrix. Construct the elementary matrix. And in this side, I'm going to multiply the elementary matrix to the A. Okay, so let's, let, let's start. So first of all, again, so you need to choose the entries from above, right? So you need to always start from here. Then you need to try to eliminate everything below that, right? So you need to eliminate the 9, first of all, then the 3. So what you need to do in order to get rid of the 9 is to multiply the first row to the minus 3 over 2 and add this to the second one. And the, re and, and the way how we're going to construct the elementary matrix is that to apply this operation, the row operation, to the identity matrix. So I will get the identity matrix as 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And I'm going to apply this operation to the identity matrix. And if you multiply the first row of the identity matrix to the minus 3 over 2 and add this to the second, what you get is here 1, 0, 0. 
minus 3 over 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. That's going to be our elementary matrix E1. And if you essentially multiply this, so let me just draw here another line. Right? So if you multiply this E1 to the A, what you get is simply the 9 is going to be eliminated. So 6 minus 2, 0. So it's going to be here 0. If you multiply minus 2 to the minus 3 over 2, it's going to be plus 3, right? If you add this to the minus 1, it's going to be plus 2 here. And a 0 times the minus 3 over 2 is simply 0. Here, 0 times the minus 3 over 2 is simply 0. Plus 1 is going to be simply 1. And the third row is going to be copied as it is. 3, 7, and 5. So what's next is to eliminate the 3, right? So now we need to eliminate the 3. So what we have to do in order to eliminate that one is we need to multiply the first row to the minus 1 over 2 and add this to the third one. And again, we are going to apply this operation over the identity matrix. So I've got the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And I'm going to perform this operation, apply this operation to the identity matrix. And if you do this, what you get is simply 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, minus 1 over 2, 0, and 1. And that's going to be my second elementary matrix, so the E2. And now, by just continuing this, if I would just multiply the E2 to the E1, to the A, what you would get is simply, so I'm going to multiply all of the entries here to the negative 1 over 2 and add them to, this, to the third row. So it's going to be 6 minus 2, 0, 0, 2, 1. So here it's going to be 0, right? So minus 2 times the minus 1 over 2, it's going to be plus 1 times uh, added to the 7, it's going to be 8 and 0 times is minus 1 over t plus 5 it's going to be simply 5. So this is how we can get rid of that 3 using this elementary matrix and now so you see so all of the entries here below that pivot below that leading leading uh, leading 6 so or the pivot are equal to the 0 so what we need to do is we need to go to the second row we need to choose that non zero entry and eliminate everything below that. So essentially, we need to eliminate the 8 here. In order to do this, it is enough to just multiply the second row to the minus 4 and add this to the third one. And again, the second row is going to be multiplied to the minus 4, and it should be added to the third one. I'm going to apply this operation again over the identity matrix. 0, uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And if I would just apply this operation over the identity matrix, what you get is here 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, minus 4, and 1. So I'm going to call this matrix as the E3 matrix. And if you would just multiply this E3 matrix to here, what you get here is essentially so the E3 times the E2 times the E1 times the A is going to be equal to 6. Minus 2, 0, 0, 2, and 1, 0, because now I need to multiply the 2 to the minus 4, it's going to be minus 8, plus 8, it's going to be equal to the uh, 0. So 1 times to the minus 4, plus 5, it's going to be equal to the 1. So here it is. So it's already in the upper triangular matrix, so in your row echelon form, right? So the upper triangular matrix. And we have obtained this by just multiplying the A to the three elementary matrices. So if you multiply the A to the E1, then to the E2, then to the E3, what you need to obtain is, what you obtain is essentially this U matrix, right? So now, in order to bring this into the LU decomposition form, you need to get rid of the three matrices on the left-hand side. So one way would be to just multiply the E3 to its inverse here and here. Okay. So it means that these two matrices here are going to be cancelled out. So what you get is E2, E1A is equal to the E3 inverse times the U. Now you need to get rid of the E2 
So you can do this by just multiplying the E2 inverse from here and from here, right? So the rest is it's going to be E1A is going to be equal to the E2 inverse, E3 inverse times the year. Now we need to multiply from here E1, it, it, it's inverse, and E1, it's inverse from here. So these two matrices on the left hand side are can be cancelled out, and what you have here is A is equal to the E1, it's inverse, times the E2, it's inverse, times the E3, it's inverse, times the U. So please note that if you just multiply the three matrices, you're going to get the lower triangular matrix. And that's going to be our L matrix. So you see, so here, all of this E's, so the E1, E2, and E3, they all are the lower triangular matrices. And just multiplying them to, to, to itself, to, to, to each other, we're going to get again the lower triangular matrix. So please note that getting the inverse of this E1, or E2, or E3 are super easy. We just need to get plus entries here, plus entry here, and plus entry here. So let's do the multiplication. So the E3, its inverse, is going to be equal to the 1, 0, 0. So let me copy that. So 0, 1, 0, 0, 4, 1. OK, so I just put plus here instead of minus. So what's going to be the inverse of the E2? So the E2 and its inverse is going to be, so I will just copy this matrix by just putting here the plus. OK, so it's going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, plus 1 over 2, 0, and 1. And the inverse of the E1, actually, so the inverse of the E1 is going to be, again, so I'm just going to get copy the E1 matrix by just putting here plus. Instead of minus negative 0 over 2, I'm going to put plus 3 over 2. It's going to be 1, 0, 0. 3 over 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So the only thing which I need to do is I, I just need to multiply them. So let's, let me multiply E1 inverse to the E2 inverse, first of all, right? So you see, so the multiplication is coming in this order. So I'm going to multiply 1, 0, 0, 3 over 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, times to Z. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 over 2, 0, 1. So you can just multiply this by, by combining the rows of the second matrix or the columns of the first matrix. So let's combine, for example, the rows of the second matrix. So this 1, 0, 0 means I just need to copy the first row as it is. Okay. And 0, 0, 1 means I just need to copy the last row as it is. Here, 3 over 2 and 1 means multiply the first row to the 3 over 2 and add this to the second one, right? So this is going to be simply 3 over 2, 1, and 0. So this is going to be the multiplication of the E1 inverse to the E2 inverse. Now we need to multiply this to the E3 inverse, right? So this is going to be 1, 0, 0, 3 over 2, 1, 0. 1 over 2, 0, 1 should be multiplied to 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0, 4, 1. So we can multiply this as a linear combination of the columns of the first matrix here. So we need to look to the three constants always. OK, so I'm going to write this down like this. So this 1, 0, 0 means we just need to copy the first column as it is. 1, 3 over 2, 1 over 2. So this 1, 0, 1, 4 means multiply the second row to the 1 and third row to the 4 and add them. OK, second row to the 1, the third row to the 4, and add them. So this is going to be 0, 1, and 4. And the last row column here, 0, 0, 1, means we need to multiply. So the third, third column, sorry, right? So we are com combining the columns. The third column should be multiplied to the 1. It's going to be 0, 0, 1. So this is what we get when we multiply the three matrices, E1 inverse to the E2 inverse to the E3 inverse. And now I'm going to write down the A in this form. So the A is going to be equal to 1, 0, 0, 3 over 2, 1, 0, 1 over 2, 4, and 1, times to the second matrix. So the second matrix was, uh, where is the U? So this is our U. 6 minus 2, 0, 0, 2, 1, 0, 0, 1. 
So 6 minus 2 is 0, 0, 2, 1, 0, 0, 1. So this is how we are going to get the L and U decomposition. So in our next video lecture, we're going to discuss about the two different uh, modifications of this decomposition. So this is called like a LDU decomposition and the PLU decompositions. So we need them in order to solve a system of linear equations much more easier. So our ultimate goal here would be to show you how to solve a system of linear equation using the LDU decomposition. Thank you.